So hi guys, welcome to my new lesson. So today, like the previous lesson, we're gonna learn the sevens. So we're gonna learn today, it's gonna be D7, C7, and H7, or B7. So that's gonna be today's lesson. So just one second. Yeah, so, uh, so it's gonna be again, three chords uh, like the last time. As I told you, sevens are used in blues. So that's the thing that you need to remember. So most are gonna find them with blues. Doesn't mean that you can't combine them with other chords. Of course you do. But just that's the thing that's giving blues that sound that they have. Okay. So because we just got this lesson, next lesson, and we're finished with the basic chords. So what can I say? Let's start. So we got first, we're gonna learn D7. So for D7, we need three fingers. So as you saw so far, D minor is this, D is this, D7 is also around the last three strings. So we're gonna put finger number one, that first, second string from down, and the first fret. Finger number two is gonna be one, two, third string from down on the second fret. Finger number three is gonna be the first string down, as you can see. So that's D7. So the bass is like D, D minor, the third string from up, one, two, three. So this is also the D string. There you go. So now, of course, like so far, check everything. So I'm doing again, everything with the fingers. You guys do it with the pick. So next is going to be C7. So C7 is we need one, two, and three finger. So just to give you one idea. So you know how G goes. So you put the two strings down, two and three, one and two, pardon. Put down, number three, put up one string, and that's C7. So of course, again, I'm going to show you. So put finger number one, one, two, third string on the second fret, finger number two, we're gonna put on the second string on the third fret, finger number three, it's gonna go on the second string from down, one, two, on the third fret, so that is C7, guys. So for C7, for C in general, the bass is on the second string now. So go from the second string down, so that's C7. Again, check. So again, remember, always, what can be the thing why you can't hear your string? You didn't get the grip good, so you didn't push too hard. Second, your fingers are too close to the fret, so that can be the danger. And third, your fingers are just too close to the fret. So you need to get them a bit like this, guys. Again, what I told you always, my fingers passing. So now we got C7 and D7. So we're gonna go slowly with the rhythm, down, up, down, up. So just to get it easy for you guys. So now we got H7 or B7. Why is it H or B? Go back to the lessons where we're learning H and H minor, 
or B, B minor and it's going to be all explained so I don't go again with something that I saw, saw previously, you know guys, that's the thing. So, uh, okay, so it's seven with you're going to need all four fingers now. So, let's show you, finger number one, you have to put one, two, third string on the first fret. Finger number two is going to go on the second string on the second fret. Finger number three goes on one, two, three, four string on the second fret. Finger number four is going to go on the first string from down. The bass is the second string, so you don't play the first string at all. Same as with C7, guys. So again, check. that are on the same fret so somebody doesn't get confused that it's maybe on the third fret it's not it's not so now again down up down up we're gonna go h7 or b7 to d7 first them a bit quickly with the fingers and that's that's you know so again what I told you see seven the bases from the second finger so again go with the first finger to the fifth string and from the six five four and go back D7 so D7 the bases on the third finger third string from up Second string is the bass for H7. That's the thing, so don't get confused. So now we're learning the seventh. So we passed H7, C7, or B7, D7. That's the thing. So now, of course, like every time so far, so practice all the chords from previous two till now. I'll show you now the three chords here. Uh, and then, what can I tell you? If you have any questions, questions here or on my Facebook site. DJ and MRIC. So you got there, you got here, everything. So just ask whatever you need, guys. So here are the chords. And we have our last lesson next time for the basic ones. And we're finished with the basic chords. And that's going to be more and more lessons onwards.
There you go, so you can see everything. Okay, there you go, guys. So always pause it so you can see the course and everything. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned so far some things and everything what I can tell you. And I hope everything is good so far. And I'll explain it really easy for you, I hope. Okay, guys, we'll see you on the last lesson for the basic course. See you and enjoy and practice.